What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Tell, and we are checking back in with another episode of Televisions, man. Yo, so today we're going to be talking about something a little different. We're going to be learning how to create moods in our photos. So this is something that I really, really love doing. I love dramatizing my photos, whether it's something different from the lighting setup, whether it's how I'm placing my subject. So we're going to go through all those dope tips and so you can learn how to do this in a few. All right, let's get to it. So one of the most important things when it comes to creating mood in your portraits is your lighting setup. So you want to know how you want to set up your lights. So within regards of light, I always use a one light setup. You can definitely use multiple lights. I've done that before with um, creating different moods and, and different things of that nature. But if I'm really trying to get some nice shadows to evoke a certain emotion, I'm gonna use a one light setup. So when I am doing a light setup, I like to set my light up at a 45 degree. So I do that on the left or the right side just to make sure that it got some nice shadow fall off on the opposite side of the face. It gives like this uh, movie-like feel. I uh, see a lot of people use this also in interviews as well um, to give a nice shadow, to give some nice contrast. And also too, I don't wanna be able to do so much in post. I really like when my photos come out moody and I don't have to fiddle with my contrast too much or anything. Mainly I'll just be playing with the black scene, the dark and the shadows. So within speaking of light and right, so I'm gonna take out to this shoot, me and Dre, we knocked out some fire stuff and we did a combination of two different lighting setups. Really three, but two of them were really focused on moods. So this initial one we used red all right so with the initial light setup i wanted to go with the red vibe i put that on her left side because i wanted that beaming on her but i wanted her backlit with some overhead lighting which i knew it was gonna add some dramaticism i didn't want to do anything that was more so on her i just wanted to have some nice shadow fall off with me adding this light to this red it brings uh, the photo a little bit more light and also gives it a little bit more edge too you start to see her jewelry you see more of her outfit and like if i was just to use red i feel like it would be more plain you wouldn't even be able to get all those details and on all that information so on one of the favorite shots that i did in this shoot it didn't wind fully so when i had did the second shot it was it captured like half of the previous roll and then half of the next one and it looks pretty dope i like the style that they gave so and also too right when you are using these lighting setups if you want to use colors think about color theory think about different colors that you can use and what these colors evoke so i used red because i worked with dre many a times and her aesthetic is more so this dark emo this gothic feel so i wanted to give something that was in that sort of realm and something that'll bring her skin out more rather than doing something just so dark and grungy and not making it look scary i wanted this shit to make make it look more appealing even sexy in a way so even when using color make sure you want to just play with different mediums of that and where are you placing these colors at so you can do something more so like a duo tone when it's maybe like an orange on the side and a red to give a certain warm vibe you know because those are warm colors or if you want to give something more cool definitely throw a blue on there or something more in that realm of that scale so it can give more like a cold feeling and you could kind of play with this and see uh the differences even if you want to just play with this in post like play with uh your colors in lightroom play with your colors on uh, capture one play with your colors so you can kind of see what these feelings evoke turn them up turn them down and see which ones you like and definitely do some research you know what i'm saying like i feel like um those are like basic fundamentals when it comes to photography um just understanding what colors evoke what so definitely make sure you're looking in if you want to use certain colors and trying to go for a different or specific look so moving on as we start to change her fit i want to do something similar uh definitely dramatic but i want to take the color off but instead of using colors i actually wanted to do some overhead lighting so literally i got the big ass soft box i turned it downward and i just raised it up so i can be able to just illuminate her from the top to the bottom so you can get some dope shadow fall off and we don't have anything recovering her shadows under her so 
it gives more of this dramatic seal. So with this, you could use your subject and place them in different areas. So on this one, I was having her more so look at me than also looking up at the light just to give different looks because it gives like this heavenly look with the light just shining from the sky. But um, with the black in the backdrop, it makes it even more dramatic. Within this shot too, um, I was thinking more so Billie Eilish, she did this uh, concept shoot for Nike. I want to say like maybe a month, month and a half ago. So that really inspired that look um, because I wanted that fall off around her uh, legs more so, but um, nothing capturing under for real. So guys, those are four ways to create mood in your photos. You have overhead lighting, you got your lighting setup, using color, and also how you place your subject in that lighting setup or scene. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are new, make sure you subscribe, join the family, make sure you drop a like below and show us some love. Make sure you comment as well. Let me know how much you enjoyed this video. And if you would like any other videos that are similar to this or anything you got in mind. Without further ado, you know the vibes, man. Keep shooting. Let's get it. Peace.